Hello, I'm Craig Heffernan from Heffernan Construction Company in Erie, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to show you how to build a treated wooden deck right on the ground. We begin by removing this concrete. This concrete pad was going to be in the way. The wooden deck we're going to build could be at risk of getting moved up or down due to the winter frost. All the holes are laid out to our dimensions and marked with fluorescent marker paint. Each hole is marked out at 10 to 12 inches round in diameter. The metal spud bar is used to break up the hard ground and the post hole diggers are used to remove the loosened dirt. If you continue this two man process, you'll be down below the frost line in no time. Forty to sixty pounds of dry concrete mix is then put into the bottom of each hole. Around a half gallon of water is then added to the dry mix. The post hole diggers are then used to mix it thoroughly. The mixer is then left cure overnight for a solid concrete footing that is below the frost line. We use a builder's level to set equal elevation. First we eye up our constant measurement at the top of the story pole. With the constant measurement held, we put the cut mark at the bottom of the story pole. We repeat this for all the posts. 2x8 treated lumber is then cut to size and used for all the outside bands, ledger boards, and center girder beam. The nails are put into a neat specific pattern and are ACQ approved for this treated lumber. We will add lag screws and washers later for extra support. After the 2x8 bands are set, we fill and tamp the holes with the dirt we remove. Do not fill the holes with concrete. If you fill the hole with concrete above the frost line, the winter frost would grab those posts and move them up and down. Landscape fabric is laid out underneath the framing of the deck. This will keep anything from growing under the deck. This trench is dug slightly downhill and will accept a downspout from the roof gutter. The landscape fabric also has perforations to allow water to filtrate through evenly. The joists we use are 2x8 treated and they're put 16 inches on center and as you see they go rather quickly. If you have any questions so far, leave a comment in the comment box below. I'll answer it promptly and don't forget to subscribe. Three eighths inch diameter galvanized lag screws and washers are used for extra support. They are installed with an electric impact driver into the pre-drilled holes. Galvanized joist hangers are used to support the ends of the joists. They are also used on both sides of the center beam. The 4 inch PVC drain pipe is slid under the deck through the trench we dug earlier. It will be fitted into the existing downspout and direct water away from the home. 
The two stair stringers are laid out to accept the wider tread. The right one is a standard 7 inch rise and has a 16 inch run. And the left is a 45 degree special stringer with a 7 inch rise and the run at 22 and a half inches. Five more foundation holes were dug to support the stairs. A special 2x8 treated board is used for the front riser. It is rated ground contact and will not rot or decay. Three 2x6 boards are used for that wider tread. They are scribed and cut at an angle around 22 and a half degrees. Five quarter by six inch premium treated wood is used for the decking. We begin with the border. This board is getting squared off to accept the ends of the main deck floor. This border is adjacent to the main deck floor. We use a router with a half inch bit to round over the rip square edge. This board will run parallel to the direction of the main deck floor. All the border pieces are fit into place around the three open sides, and they are pre-drilled and fastened with two and a half inch ACQ approved outdoor deck screws. The main deck boards are measured and cut to fit a staggered pattern to our joist layout. It is standard to run the decking the direction of the longer side. Each deck board gets two screws into each joist. The rest of the decking is fitted into place and goes very smoothly. The decking boards still have a lot of moisture content in them when they're first purchased. When you install these deck boards, put them tight together. As the moisture in the board dries out, the board will shrink leaving a nice 3 16 inch gap between them. This bench is custom made and will be built into place so no one falls out the back end of the deck. It is three deck boards wide, it has 2x8 sides and uses 4x4 four four scrap posts for the legs. The block bench will also have lag screws and be secured to the deck.
This concludes our video on how to build a ground level deck. I hope it was helpful to you the viewers. Please don't forget to subscribe and maybe leave a comment or two. I'm Craig Heffernan and thanks for watching.